Hey everybody, welcome to another day, another unboxing. I finally have the Z Fold 2 5G from Samsung. This is the folding phone. That's a phone and you open it and it's a tablet and you close it and it's a phone. And really, in tablet is hard to say because, well, Android tablets aren't that great. So I'd say it's more like a phone with a very large screen when it's open. Anyway, I went ahead and bought this for a lot of money to bring it to you because I want the experience. I never got to play with the Fold last year and I did play with the Z Flip a little bit this year, but I needed to experience this for myself. By the way, before we continue, this i is on this side, but here it says Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. There's some stuff in the back here. Nothing on top, nothing on the bottom. So remove this and here we are. This is the magic moment you've all been waiting for. Ta -da -da -da, ta -da -da -da. Woo! Change the shape of the future. Introducing Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Reimagine the possibilities of the smartphone experience, unlock endless versatility, and enjoy unrivaled engineering and craftsmanship. Welcome to the new mobile era. So there's a divider first, and then there's the phone. The divider has some stuff in it, looks like. So let's take a look. Aha, I should probably do this the proper way. Here we go, we got a SIM removal tool, and then we have a bunch of documentation, nothing else. So we have Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 quick reference guide, and put a SIM in, about your phone, here are the details. And then uh, Samsung Care. All right. You have terms and conditions and Samsung support portal. Ooh, look at that. Wow, fancy. Introducing the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. So it gets into a little more detail here. I'll leave this up so you can all read it. And then again, terms and condition, we don't care. All right, let's get to the meat of this, the phone. Ooh, I will get to that as soon as I finish the rest of the box. I'll just put it aside right here. So the rest of the box has a divider, which talks about Galaxy Z Premier service. In case your phone gets damaged or you have questions, this is all included because you spent a lot of money. It's like concierge service. We have a charger here. I don't know what the wattage is. I do know that it charges it up to 25 watt, but I'll leave this up so that we can have a look. USB type C on one end, then we have a cable and I bet you that's USB C to C. Yeah, definitely USB C to USB C, as expected. Oh, it's interesting. They haven't included this this year. They used to have it in this last year, maybe in some other markets. I know that Samsung now says you can order the earbuds for free. There's like some nice earbuds that come with the Note and the S series and the Z series, but not included in the US, but you can ask for them to get them for free. And they used to be a um, type A to type C adapter. So you could plug an old type A cable into the type C port to transfer everything. Anyway, that's it for the box, folks. Let's look at the phone, shall we? Are we excited? Because I sure am. Look at that. So there's some details here. I'm going to leave this up so you can have a look. I'm hearing there's a pre-applied screen protector on this phone and that it's probably not a good idea to remove it in the sense that Samsung will remove it for you if you want. But I think I'm going to leave that on for the first time ever. Remember, this is kind of a hybrid glass plastic display. It's microscopic pieces of glass that can bend, covered in a layer of plastic. It's very similar to what the Z Flip used. Last year's Fold was purely a plastic display. So this is a slightly higher quality. It feels more like glass when you scroll on it, but if they've applied a screen protector, I'm kind of curious how that's going to feel. And this is the back. Whoa, look at that. Screen, cameras. We should open this up. All right, here we go. And... Here we go, and here we go. Oh, wow. There it is. I'm gonna walk through the specs in a second, but there we go, let's close this. Oh, 
All right, let's walk around through the edges real quick so you know what to expect. So on the right hand side, when it's shut, the display being this black thing, you have the SIM tray on the top half. You have the power lock key with a built-in capacitive fingerprint sensor and the volume rocker on the bottom half. And then on top here, you have a speaker on the top half and secondary microphone on the bottom half. And then on the bottom here, you have a speaker on the top half and a USB type C and primary microphone on the bottom half. Remember the bottom half because the glass is on top, right? So that's what it looks like. That's the edges. Now the left side has nothing but the hinge and a Samsung logo, right? So let's power it up real quick. Let's open it and hit the power button. Here we go. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5G secured by Knox, powered by Android. And you can see the crease a little bit here. That was the same on the Z Flip, so that's not going away, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. It's funny, I'm looking at it in the camera and it looks worse in the camera than in person right now. So let's talk about the main display here. It's a 7.6 inch diagonal display. It is 1768 pixels across by 2208 pixels up. And it is a 120 hertz display AMOLED folding. It's uh, pretty impressive as you can see, right? HDR10, you can see the crease here. It's honestly not as pronounced on a white background. So that's the internal display. Of course, you have that 10 megapixel camera that I mentioned, F over 2.2, basically a standard front facing camera from a Samsung phone. Now, if you close the display, that front display is a glass display, right? It is 60 Hertz and it is 816, 2260, 25 by nine aspect ratio, which is very odd. And uh, yeah, it is also AMOLED. I'm not sure if it's HDR 10 plus, but damn, it looks nice. And again, you have the same 10 megapixel F over 2.2, 1.22 micron front facing camera and a hole punch here. Now under the hood, you have a Snapdragon 865 plus you have 12 gigs of RAM and you have 256 gigs of storage. Now there's a version that's 512 gigs, but you don't get micro SD on this phone. So you gotta pick your storage. I think for me, 256 is plenty. I cannot really live with 64 anymore, but I can certainly live with 128. So 256 is fine. So that's it in terms of specs, right? Overall, as you know, this is a pretty spec heavy phone. It's got stereo speakers, as you saw, no headphone jack, right? It does have NFC, all the things you'd expect. It does support wireless charging up to 11 watts and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. And as I mentioned before, it's 25 watt over USB type C. Speaking of, the batteries are spread between the two halves and they're a total of 4,500 milliamp hour, which is okay, but for such a large screen, it might be challenging. I'm not sure, we'll see how that pans out really at this point. So the cameras, let's talk about these rear cameras because this is a camera setup that we're all pretty familiar with. It's pretty much a camera setup from last year's S10 and Note 10 series, three 12 megapixel cameras, two with OIS and one ultra wide, right? One is the telephoto 2X. So nothing too surprising here. Unlike last year's S10 and Note 10, there's no dual aperture. So it is 12 megapixel f1.8 with 1.8 micron pixels, pretty large pixels. And it does have OIS, of course, that's the main sensor, dual pixel autofocus. Then we have that telephoto. I'm not sure which one's which, by the way. That also has OIS, two times optical zoom, one micron pixel, so much smaller, F over 2.4 aperture, much worse aperture. So it's not gonna perform quite as well in low light. Then we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, that is F over 2.2 with 1.12 microns. Again, a little better than the telephoto in terms of low light, but not gonna be fantastic. But honestly, look, Samsung has a ton of experience making cameras and I like what they've done with their cameras lately, especially the Note 20 Ultra is baller. And I think this camera is gonna really be pretty impressive. They really improved their color science and image processing in the last few years. And I think it's gonna pay off on this phone. So I'm gonna play with this, take it through its paces and let you know what I think, right? Like this is kind of a crazy thing. Like, let me show it to you so you can see how thin it is open. And it's a little chunky closed, but that's to be expected, right? You see my fingers, it's, it's a little chunky. I would say it's a one and a half times the thickness of 
a normal like nine millimeter phone, right? And in fact, if you look at the numbers here, it is 16.8 millimeters when close. So it's 1.6 centimeters, which is, you know, pretty sizable, like three quarters of an inch or so. All right, folks, that's it. That is my Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G unboxing. Please stay tuned for more content. I hope you like this video. Subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Comment below, tell me what you think. Would you buy this? Would you spend $2,000 of your hard earned money on this product or this too much for you? Are you so excited about that you would save up for it? Don't forget to click the notification bell below. And remember, this content is a compliment to my podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, and Spotify. Please subscribe to the podcast, listen to it, tell your friends, all that good stuff. And if you want to know how I feel about this, you're going to have to listen to the show. I've already kind of given my impressions based on talking with people and handling many phones over the years, but I haven't actually used it. So this is going to be a very interesting test for me. All right, folks, stay tuned for more. And until then, cheers, everybody.